A quiet night. Well, food is cooking. Mugen and Yuki-chan are fetching firewood. Nothing left to do but pass the time. What's on your mind, Aiko-san? A few things. Nothing to worry about. There's no harm in talking. Thank you, Takuma-san. Perhaps later. I will be here. Are you enjoying the smell of the food, Kumakum? So, it's rice porridge tonight. It smells wonderful. Wait until you taste it. I might have outdone myself this time. <laughs> We've never really talked, have we? Perhaps we should change that. What are you saying, Kumakun? Perhaps I should ask Yuki-chan or Takuma-san for translation. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm starting to understand you. Should we give it a try? I heard you were vital in Takuma-sama's escape, Kumakun. Oh! So you captured the ship all by yourself? Takuma-san slept through all of it? You don't say! He really must be glad that you are around to protect him. <laughs> we really should do this more often. Oh, don't listen to him. Half of what he says is pure nonsense anyway. <laughs> Our last night before we reach Kage-sama. Is that concern I hear in your voice? Killing your past is never easy. Trust me, I know. I see. Thank you, Hayato-san. Truly. Don't mention it. Perhaps a little stroll will do me good. I saw a shrine farther up the hill. Are you sure? The others will be back soon. I promise I won't be long. Do you know? This branch is freshly cut. Cherry blossoms. They always were my favorite. I remembered that. So, you do still live. Impressive. Has Kage-sama sent you? Have you come for my companions again? Kage-sama? Oh, please. Do you really think I'd spend my retirement helping that old fool? I see. So you never supported him willingly? He came to me, thinking he could snare me with oaths made long before his time. I decided to teach him a lesson, and gain my well-earned peace in the process. You betrayed your own men so we could succeed? And faked your own death to gain your freedom? A fine scheme, wouldn't you agree? And yet, one that put me and my companions in harm's way. A regrettable fact. But it is what it is. Why look so troubled, Aiko-chan? How can I not be? One part of me rejoices that you are still alive. The other wishes to end you for what you have done. Life is full of complicated decisions. Whether it is the matter of your sensei, or the child you carry. What? Do not worry, Aiko-chan. You are hiding it well. You almost fooled me, too. I don't see what one thing has to do with the other. Only that there is a choice to be made. One that nobody can make but you. Now, 
shall we begin? My back is turned. No tricks, no schemes. If you wish to strike me down, you may do so now. Sensei. I will give you ten heartbeats to decide. Ah, such a beautiful view. It is indeed. Thank you for not spoiling the evening, my dear. Enough blood has been shed. Perhaps we should all enjoy life for a bit. Agreed. And Aiko-chan, if I may give you a nibble of advice... We cannot know what tomorrow brings. But the choice you make today will be the right one. In that, I am certain. Farewell, Sensei. Farewell, Aiko-chan. The others must have returned by now. I should head back. Aiko-san, we were starting to worry. Apologies. I had to make peace with some old memories. Mm. I think some food would do us all good. Will you gather the others? Gladly. Smells good, doesn't it? Indeed. You should ask Takuma-san to teach you the recipe. <laughs> you know my cooking skills are questionable. My love, if anyone can help you improve, it's him. Finished your walk? I have. You should try running next time. Exercise always clears the head. Perhaps you'd be up for a little friendly competition. <laughs> always. Come now. Food is ready. ones over there? Those constellations are called the Black Turtle of the North. And the ones over there? The Vermilion Bird of the South. And the ones over there? Ah, the White Tiger of the West. That's a big cat, yes? <laughs> Very big, yes. Who gave them their names? Wise men from faraway China. <gasps> I'd like to travel someday. <laughs> Why not, Yuki-chan? Why not? You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Yes. Sensei is teaching me about the stars. Come now. Mugen is waiting at the fire. Gladly. I'm positively starving. <laughs> Everyone's gathered, my love. Very good. Let us begin the feast. Ah, that was really good. You truly have outdone yourself. Agreed. You must share this recipe with me sometime, Takuma-san. Of course. Though I admit, I've never met a samurai who cooks before. <laughs> <laughs> then I shall be the first. I remember you trying to make dumplings one time. How was it? Well, we swore never to speak of it again. Are you not a man of your word, Hayato-san? Forgive me, everyone. I am bound by oath. <laughs> anyway, I'll be heading off. Long day tomorrow. Indeed. I think we should also call it a night, Yuki-chan. Um, all right. Come, Kumakun. Good 
Good night, everyone. See you in the morning. I'm going to miss our meals together. Mm. The fight may end tomorrow. But must that mean the end of our group? Can you imagine us all living as a family? <laughs> it would be a wild family, to be certain. Perhaps just the two of us. A child, maybe. Would that make you happy, Aiko-san? I think it would. And you, Mugen-san? I would be honored, my love. Very well. Let us finish our final task. Tomorrow, we put an end to Kage-sama. After that, we shall talk about the future. Hmm. Agreed. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow.